What are y'all doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Quit following me. Stop. Stop it. Quit following. I need an adult. What are y'all doing? Hmm. Why are they following? Well, I'll tell you. There you go. Grub Terra Black Soldier Fly Larva. Now, I'm going to sit down here, throw this junk out to these chickens, and I guess we're going to have something. I guess we need to start calling like a chicken chat. Hope you guys are doing all right wherever it is that you are. And uh, here comes the freaks. There you go. One of the curious things about chickens is that they have one eye eyeball that is used for long range vision and the other is for short range and so they take that you'll see them looking up at hawks up in the air and turning their head sideways and, and it's not like they're just being stupid chickens they're just actually kind of resetting themselves so one eye is for long range one eye is for short range and they use this depth perception and a deficit of it to uh, find out what's going on and well look at her that's a barred rock bar is because of the little bars that go across the feathers barred ROC rock there we go and these are mostly all hens out here but uh, going back to the eyeballs and that is how they look at predators up in the air so you'll see them look up and they'll turn their head and it's actually kind of a reset for their eyeball and then they can see predators I always thought it was kind of cool and this chicken chat again was brought to you by Grub Terra. I had no idea I would become a chicken farmer. Um, it just turned out that way. These things are funny. They're actually better than watching television. They are tiny dinosaurs. That's what I tell everybody. People say, what do you do with them? I said, well, you can just kind of watch them because these guys consider them velociraptors, which they are the predecessors of and they are predatory hunting monsters but people think they eat lettuce they actually do not prefer lettuce I'm going to give you some more. You should just quit. The barred rocks are very gentle if you have children. Um, the hens, I have always found them to be very accommodating. Uh, that's a black rocket. Uh, Easter egg right there. Um, I have to think about it. They don't hurt when they peck. They really don't. Come on, sweetie. Eat the rest of them. And if you actually have like a ring on your hand, hang on, I'll show you. They will try to peck the ring because they see shiny stuff. But it's very interesting. They're very funny. That is Lucy. I will zoom in on her. That's one of my wife's favorites. Uh, she is a very small chicken. She is a bantam chicken. And we have another bantam hen just like her. Oh, hang on. I lost you for a second. That is the downside of zooming in. There we go. 
and we have a bantam rooster and their eggs are about as big as my finger I have one inside I'll go inside in just a second and show you guys but these things are fun they actually generate a profit for us and I don't I don't mind telling you um, they actually pay for my wife's car because um, well we have it structured that way and we take the eggs and we sell them and you do not want to know and I will not tell you how much we ultimately sell the eggs for to rich people but it's over seven dollars a dozen um, I will say that and she will actually just about eat out of the bag of course they all will if I wasn't up here but we have one two three probably five roosters four roosters now out of 90 <laughs> hens and that is a good combination for us more to come Linda, 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 that, it's a snack. It's not a meal. There we go. I threw those at him to shut him up. He was just letting the flock know that he was out and about. There's one here, the big rooster. And there's another rooster down there. They do not tolerate each other. But he is a... Uh, Brahma rooster and they get pretty good size um, oddly enough we had an oops there's the other rooster right there no I don't fight them no I don't want to I make more money selling eggs and uh, oh there she is she's back but can, can you can you pace yourself, sweetie? Really? Really? Come on. Go, go on. And uh, they are very... I lost my train of thought. Dude, step back. Step back. It's funny. When we first got chickens, uh, we got about 20 hens. And... Oh! I'll finish this story and I'll tell you the other one. We got about 20 hens and we were looking at them and checking them and everything. And then we felt in front of them their crop and, and I said they all have growths they all have tumors on their chest what is going on with them and I actually said those words to my wife and, and she said I don't know because neither one of us knew see that is her crop how full she is step away from the grub terra process it swallow it dude and uh, so it, it was very funny and I called a friend of mine who, who had chickens and knew more about them than I did and she laughed and laughed she said that's a crop she said do you eat gizzards I said absolutely I love eating gizzards she said that's what it is and I thought well okay well there you go but um, the kick in the butt is the last time we got more to continue our laying business we got 20 chicks straight run and I'm gonna say 15 of them were roosters how about that how about those odds that's why I don't play the lot and I do have to say though I did win in a way because those 15 roosters are in the freezer now they went to freezer camp we got these guys going. Uh, we got another 50, 50 hens that are supposed to be coming up. And we're generating uh, 22 dozen eggs a week on average. Keep them happy. Keep them watered. Keep them fed. Keep them safe to a degree. Now we do this 
open range, free range kind of thing. So if a hawk comes in and we're not out here, well, you know, the hawk just has dinner. It's just the way it is. Or uh, a stray dog or a weasel or something like that. But keep them fed, keep them happy, keep them stress-free, give them good snacks like this Grub Terra. And you have a chicken factory. All these eggs are fertilized. I can make or generate, not make myself. I can produce a thousand fertilized eggs that will bring up probably 900 chickens. I hear somebody in here. Let's see. Oh, she ran out. She was going to lay an egg in there. Anyway, that's what we do. Uh, I guess we will begin to do these chicken chats. And uh, I just want you guys to know uh, it's one of the funniest things I've ever done. Uh, I've done some crazy stuff. You've watched me for 10 or 11 years doing the different side businesses and everything that I have done. These are probably the most lucrative and the most rewarding. There you go. Watch this. Chick, chick, chick. Come on, chick, chick. Take care of you people, guys. No, ma'am, you have been overserved. You need to go somewhere else to get your grub tear. I don't care. <laughs>